Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Science here. How you doing? So we're back in it with more Second Circle. Let's go ahead and get in this bad boy, shall we? You pull down the trap door that leads to the attic and are almost immediately assailed by the sharp smell of liquor. So much alcohol is evaporating in the air of the alcohol. Breathing in makes your head spin. Bottles. Oh, that's actually a really nice room to be up in the attic. I'll tell you that right now. I, I would like that room. This is a nice room. Bottles lie strewn across the otherwise immaculate surface of the room with the exception of the wooden desk at the far corner of the room, squat upon which is a large black computer. Well, it looks like it's underneath with a large black screen there. Slides, you got an old leather couch at an angle incomparable with the long-term back health. Melina's scowls perseveres as for your heavy lidded eyes. Take it. It's a bit early for a visit, isn't it? It's 12.30. Did I stutter? No, but it's like 12.30. Uh, pass me the bottle, would you? The Instavin one. Uh, you grab the requested bottle of Uncle, Uncle Instavon's her hermetic juice of a nearby coffee table and walk over to Melina. You sit down next to the demon and hand her the bottle. Pulling the cork out with her teeth, she drains a bottle of liquor, drying three deep swigs. Dang, girl, you got that. <laughs> Before tossing it behind her into the garbage can. The clatter of the bottle against but For the clattering of bottles against bottles, you conclude that the bin hasn't been empty in quite some time. That, Armelina fills it with extreme prejudice. Probably extreme prejudice is being filled there, girl. So, tell me. What is that you up to here disturbing my beauty slump? Uh, I have a package for you. I better not be in films with something. I'm not really wasting enough for the kind of interaction. Nope. FedEx. Pretty sure it's one of the games you ordered. And a sudden burst of speed when he smack a snap I'm about said smashes. Yeah, she smashes the package. Melina snatches the package from you. She tears the top of the package off with ease and rummages around inside it with a free hand, eventually extracting a slim case. Oh hell yeah! It's a copy of Hero Commander 3 that I ordered. I've been waiting all week to play this thing. I hear the eye is almost unbeatable at high levels. Hold up, you telling me there's a game out there harder than Vantage Master? Oh yeah, you've no idea. That reminds me, Taker, uh, are we still on for our game session tonight? I'm still dying to take this game out for a spin. Sure. Games with a melancholy alcoholic? Sounds like fun. <clears throat> well, that's something to look forward to. Anyways. Could you pick up some Chico Ch Ch Churicao? I don't know how to say I wouldn't. For tonight, I want to try making something new. I got you the booze. What are you gonna do with it? Give me a moment and you'll see. Oh. Take a bottle and turn it back to you. Melina walks over to the counter of the attic where she is, laid out various implements of a cocktail crafted in a delicate surgeon wood a set of scalps. She brushes she brushes herself and busies herself and brushes herself busies herself back still you as she mixes and shakes liquid between two glasses. Oh Alright maybe she'd be a bartender girl and here the green iguana I have concerns it's called an iguana mmm I'm worried Huh, it's a nauseating green and looks slightly radioactive. A thin line of white crystal lines the glass. Melina is brandishing suspectingly at you. Oh, thanks. Careful, you take a sip of the loose drink. It's actually really good. Mm. How is it? It's delicious. The salt rim offsets the sweetness just enough to keep it the fruity tones under control. Melina swishes the drink around her own glass. Glasson's rim? I didn't know I was in here. I didn't know I was. A, I didn't know I was a cup. Sans room. Hmm. Yeah. So I've been told something wrong. Why did you put the? Why didn't you put the rim on your glass? 
I can't. The salt gets demon pretty fucked up and not at all in a fun way. Oh yeah, uh, huh. I thought that was just heresy. Nope, it's really, it's real all right. It's damn painful too. Once saw Zadada try to snort a line of kosher stuff and knocked him flat on the fat ass for a week. We, she couldn't even talk without shooting blood from both nostrils like some stupid cartoon character. She paused for a minute thinking to herself. Best two weeks of my life, actually. Oh, good to know. She downs a drink and then holds out her empty hand. Here. I'll make us some more while you move the computer into a more comfortable position. Ah, uh, comfortable positions, eh? As Melina pours a different drink for the two of you in her... At her improvised bar. The walk across the room and the easy pull of the tab and the computer over the couch before sitting back down. And Lena joins you for a moment later, and you will refill before flicking your computer on and starting the game into the disc reader. The game boosts up, backed by a dramatic orchestra of music we didn't have the budget to compose for this game. Oh, yeah, I mean, that makes sense. We're starting on hard difficulty, right? Like there's any other rational option? I mean, sure, it's called play on normal, and then when you get the gist of it, then play on hard. But hey, you do you! Damn straight, hmm. Now, are we playing on campaign, or maybe survival mode would be better? Look, it's even as a verse mode. Hard pass on that one. Competition isn't worth the bridges burn, trust me on that. Survival then, that way if you die early on, I get a turn. Like, I'm gonna let that happen and hope you're comfortable sitting there, Chief, because it's gonna be a long time before you get your turn in. <clears throat> True to her word, Melina plays a game like the seasoned veteran she is, and she crushes through the early game like a battleship on steroids until. Goddamn Quicksand. Aw, oh, Quicksand. Hey, you play Pitfall Jr.? Aw, oh, poor Pitfall Harry just fell in a Quicksand loop. Why the devils would ever consider implementing a hazard that kills your units on contact with absolutely no warning is beyond me. My turn then, any stage advice? Yeah, get good or get off, and let me try again. You do neither, and the two of you spend several hours in the attic, routinely swearing at the game in turn. As the night begins to wrap up, the two of you slump sideways more and more until you're resting shoulder to shoulder on the couch. Oh, how sweet. So, how does Hero Commander 3 compare to the others we played? Eh, the difficulty isn't all it's cracked up to be, and the story may as well have been written by a chimp with a typewriter for all the shit I give. Hmm, I mean, I know a pretty good chimp, no chimpsy, and he's pretty good at writing, I'm just saying. Don't knock a chimp writer until you've met one. <laughs> it sounds like you've got something off a pair to go on. What's that supposed to mean? You've done nothing but complain about the last three games you've gotten. I'm starting to think you're not actually enjoying them. These last few game nights we've had have all ended the same way too. With you getting mad at the game and spend the next couple days sulking before you set your heart on a new game and we do the whole thing over again. So you're saying you don't want to play games with me anymore. That's fine. I'm perfectly playable enjoying myself without your big dumb face ta taking up my peripheral vision. It's not that. I quite enjoy playing games with you. I'm actually quite the welcome relief from the daily house life. I just like to include a little more variety in our time together, that's all. Hmm. I suppose your taste isn't completely garbage. I guess I'll be willing to let you play in the next night. Oh, that's nice of her. Whatever you find, it better have a screen booze and not be in public. If you, you can't be drunk in public, you gotta be drunk in a bar. Don't believe me? Ask a Mr. Ron White. If you find a thing that checks all three boxes, I'll give it a shot. Yeah, it's called Netflix Chill. Deal. And whatever you pick, and I better be a fucking Dance Dance Revolution. That shit's way too kinky for me. I like Dance Dance Revolution. What's wrong with you? You'll have to give some thought unless you want to live out the rest of your days in a stale attic playing obscene video games, that is. Melina and Taker affection increased by one. Select your character. All right, who are we gonna pick? Let us go. You know what? We'll do Justice again. 
Sure. You already spent time with this girl. Please choose another character. Oh. Oh, so you get no choice. You gotta... Oh, okay. All right, we'll go with Lucy. You should probably take Lucifer's advice and spend some time with the other girls first. Oh. Fine, let's go with Panda Monica. Well, let me pick who I want to pick. All right, game, let's see how it is. You walk into the kitchen and make coffee for everyone to see Panda Monica standing by the coffee maker. Oh, no. She looks over at you, blearily, barely registering your presence before turning her attention back to the Spartan coffee machine. Um, good morning. Oh, morning. You peer over the demon's shoulder to see that the jug of coffee is barely a quarter of the way full. The machine itself has come to almost complete stop. You suspect that in her half-sleep state, Panamana neglected to add enough water to the broom. I was just about to make coffee for her and I didn't expect you to be up so early. Early? Ha! I've been up all night. Panda Monica, I really think you should... If the next words out of your mouth are, get some sleep, I'm gonna break your fingers. You decide to hold your tongue. What kind of coffee did you put in there? Just some store-bought stuff I found in the cabinet? Hmm? Thought occurred to you and drives you to the cabinet on the other side of the kitchen where you keep all the unused appliances. What are you doing? Ah, oh, what the devil is that? A coffee grinder. You make your way to the pantry and retrieve a bag of roasted coffee beans you bought last week. You pour them in the contraption and set to work grinding them down. Whatever it is you're doing there, it smells outstanding. After a while, you finish grinding the beans and you take them over to the coffee maker. You dump out whatever was in the old jug and clean out the machine. Then, with a fresh filthy, you pour in your hand ground beans and add an appropriate amount of water and start a fresh brew. Yes, it seems like the Panama is going to gouge your eyes out with a pin for dumping out a coffee. The smell begins to waft through the kitchen, immediately calming the demon. What did you do? When I was a kid, my dad used to grind his own coffee. When I got older, he gave me his old grinder. The other day, I decided to pick up a bag of beans from the coffee store in the corner. I know how much you like that place, so I thought I'd surprise you. <clears throat> Take Pan the Monica to the coffee shop? Sure, why not? Coffee date? Let's do it. If you like, we can go there tonight, and tonight, and you can show me your favorite flavors. It'd be nice to have those around the house as well. That would be nice. Yeah, it would be nice, wouldn't it be? Yeah. Monica, it'd be great. No, no, her name's Monica. Oh no, not Monica! No, not Monica! No! So you decide to skip lunch in anticipation of your date. And seeing as the coffee shop is a far, you decide to walk. Do the trek down the street in silent, uh, spent in silence. Not what is your quiet feet overpower or awkward. Rather, there's a contentment lurking in silence. I was hoping to be like the pan uh, the Persona 5 uh, coffee shop. You know, you walk in just like, hey, how you doing? You arrived at the shop and are uh, assaulted by a deep, rich smell. There are hush whisper around the place and it makes room feel especially cozy. And Monica approaches the counter and she draws near the old man behind the counter beams. There she is, my favorite customer. What can I get you today? I'll take the usual. I'm right up. As for you, sir, coffee, please. Black. Simple fellow. I like that. Yeah, I'll bring your drinks to the table, so feel free to make yourself at home. You and Panda Monica find a place to sit that's next to the roasted coffee display. As you are making yourself comfortable in your chairs, the old man sets the drinks down in front of you. You sit from your beverage and not at the display. So which one's your favorite? Well, I'm quite partial to dark roast. Anything with a deep, rich flavor is a win, really. But if you're looking for specifics, I quite like the dark chocolate hazelnut. Ooh, dark chocolate hazelnut. Get it, my girl. So, you like flavored coffees like chocolate. 
Who doesn't like chocolate? Well, I mean, there's people out there that can't actually eat chocolate. They might like it, but, uh, point taken. What about the one right there? A toasted almond. Mmm, yes. I do think that would be a good choice as well. I like a good nutty flavor. Oh, that's... You chuckle at the joke. The two of you pass the next half hour discussing coffee roasted flavors until your own cup runs dry. You were just about to order a refill when you notice Pamaka winces it as though she just heard a loud noise. All of a sudden, she seems distracted by something. Now suddenly, nature returns to her eyes and you rise from your chair. Shall we call it a day? Panda Monica doesn't respond at first. Panda Monica. Oh. Yes, yes, I think that'll be good, thank you. You gather up your things and make your way to the counter to pay. When you depart, you leave with a couple bags of roast coffee dangling from your arms. For the entire walk back to the house, Panama seems distracted by something. And you think that you hear a little else from her today. However, when you arrive at the front door, the demon stops and tugs in your sleeves to get your attention. Hey, I feel I must thank you again for today. What you did was kind, and I enjoyed the peace and quiet we got to have today. I really needed it, and I'd like if we could do it something like this again sometime. Yeah, I like that too, I think. Aw, oh, that was just so bad. She didn't try to stab me or anything. Alright, cool. I think we got a couple more characters to go through. I think I have to do... Oh, yeah. yeah I still gotta do Azriel and I gotta do Judgment, I think. So I got three left on here to do. But, uh, that's it for now. If you guys have been enjoying this, let me know. I think the next one we'll go with is her. We'll jump in this one, but I'm going to save it here. So, you know, let me go ahead and save. All right. But if you guys all have been enjoying watching me play Second Circle, by all means, let me know by leaving a like and a comment below. And as always... Hopefully you stay safe, and I'll see you next time in the Bone Zone. Peace. Hey everyone, Sansi, how you doing? So, uh, just let you all know, uh, if I had a Patreon, this is where I keep them. So, if you'd like to go ahead and help me make more great content for y'all, please go check out my Patreon in the description below. And as always, hopefully next time I see you, it's in the Bone Zone.